morning everybody RV prepper is Wayne here today I have a fun one and I'll explain the fun about this one it's a 2003 pace arrow on the Chevy workhorse chassis customer called me and said that the oil line o-ring was leaking and need to get it replaced I came out was going to crank the unit up to make sure that was where it was leaking he'd already drained the oil out of it so I couldn't verify where it was leaking but he told me which one he said it was leaking at so what I did is I found the o-ring I found the o-ring local and put the o-ring in we added oil cranked it up it was not the o-ring so therefore it was fun from that point on it was actually the oil cooler line that was leaking where it rubbed a hole in the uh, line itself which I will show you that here in a minute now I started working on this last night and the bolt was kind of giving me some fits so with having a real bad toothache I took a break and I figured I'd get back out here this morning and work on it so let me show you what I've got to deal with underneath here okay this is the oil cooler line it's got a bracket that holds it here and there's supposed to be one up just to the end of the rubber or the aluminum starts but that had pulled off and it rubbed a hole the aluminum line had rubbed on the motor mount bolt and rubbed a hole in it well that all that is easy to change the way the system is it's easy to change the lines there there's just a clip and they push in you pull the lines down now the hard part is this bolt now this is the hard part here because this is the bolt and well you don't have much room you can't really get a ratchet in here to work and this bolt is actually about two and a half inches long you got a, a, a steel bolt going into aluminum line this bolt is really hard to get out I even heated it up with a torch to try to get it out and it was still hard to get out I'm hoping now that it cooled down the corrosion kind of broke loose on it I've sprayed it with a PB blaster numerous times so maybe it's had time to soak in and we can get that changed out and as you can tell that is the only bolt okay I worked on that one bolt getting it as far as I did I still have three quarters of an inch to go to get it to come completely loose I spent over 20 minutes just getting it that little bit that I got there you can't it's just so hard to turn there's no room really to get to I'm gonna try a different configuration with a um, a swivel and a longer extension and see if I can kind of reach it from a little bit further distance now what I have to do is put a big crescent wrench down here on this bottom part I have to hold this because this is still so tight it's wanting to spin this whole thing and this goes right up into the oil cooler itself I cannot break this cannot really bend it or nothing like that and cause a problem then it's more having to get in and replace all that so I put the big wrench on here and that's been holding it but getting that bolt loose has been the fun part so I'm gonna see what I can do about trying to get that off and I'll let you know how easy it went okay this is the new line here uh, we got it ordered okay they said that it had the upgraded 
uh, fittings on it which these look identical to what is already on there so if these are the exact same ones that's on there I'm not changing this because if it's not the problem I don't want to change it but we'll find out more when I uh, get the line completely off and I'll be able to see if there's a difference in the line with the size or anything now here's where the fun begins finding the line we called every Chevy dealer around nobody deals with the workhorse chassis I was doing a search and finally found it at ultraRVproducts.com they had the line and can get it to us by Friday okay no problem with that well Friday come found out it was delivered at 10 o'clock I got out here and guess what it wasn't here well I spent till 5 o'clock from about 11 o'clock to 5 o'clock trying to locate where the line was UPS did not deliver it where it was supposed to go they delivered it to the big tent itself not to the vendors over here where we gave the address to get it picked up for them to drop it off here we gave them the address for them to drop it off here but they dropped it way over at the big tent well I spent most of the day with UPS trying to find out where it was they were supposed to call me back they never did so I have to deal with UPS on uh, some of the labor I don't know if it's worth it y'all let me know I finally after about an hour and a half of working with this got this loose but with the wrench I didn't get the bolt undone I ended up taking the grinder and getting in there I got the bolt far enough where I can get the grinder blade in there to cut the bolt and that's what I ended up doing I didn't hurt anything else I was able to make sure I didn't get any shavings up into the cooler now let me show you where the line was leaking here you can see a perfect impression of the bolt where it's been rubbing and the only reason that bolt was rubbing on that this right here come off its mount allowed this to drop and vibrate like that so it's not going to do that when I get done I'm gonna fix it right so what I have to do now is go get a bolt to go into here I'll go get a new bolt and we'll get him put together I do have to change the adapters uh, they are different okay the original one here is a went in a lot deeper whereas this one doesn't go in as far so I do have to change the adapters I've got the socket and all that to fit that so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go get the bolt I need get back get the bolts uh, get the adapters changed out getting bolted in fastened up and then we're gonna check and make sure we have no oil leaks this one line the reason it was so hard is it's a steel bolt that goes into aluminum uh, dissim dissimilar metals will corrode and that's what happened here so when I put it in I'm gonna put uh, uh, probably anti seize on here that'll help keep the uh, corrosion from building back up and get that taken care of so let me go get the bolt and everything else and then I'll kind of show you here with the adapters that I got to change out alrighty these are the two adapters here that I have to replace they are different than the others so they're just uh screw in so i'm gonna put my ratchet on it and i'll get them 
swapped out. Okay, I have the adapters in now. The lines are clipped back in. The spiral lock was back on it. These fit in tighter than the original ones did. So let me show you how this is fastened up here toward the front. Okay, I got it all back together now. Annie sees on the bolt because you got a steel bolt going into aluminum. So we got anti seize on there. I got it clipped down to the frame. And same thing back up here. I'm also going to put a zip tie up here to help ensure that this does not come down again. Because that clip is just not super strong up there. So with a zip tie, it'll help pull it in and hold it there good. So now what I got to do is just basically spray brake clean everywhere oil had shot everywhere clean all that up and we're going to crank this thing up and make sure it doesn't leak got it all done i sprayed brake clean where it leaked before clean all that old oil off the bracket that failed before was a plastic bracket it's just a pop in snap in kind I snapped that back in, but I also put two zip ties on it to help hold it to the bracket that should be. Extra insurance. If that little plastic piece had failed once, it'll fell again. So with the zip ties, that'll keep it from coming apart. But we got it all done. It's not leaking at all. Lines are up out of the way. Customers happy. That makes me happy. That one bolt is what took so long. That's why I elected to cut that bolt off. So I don't have to sit there and keep trying and causing more damage to something else. Makes it cheaper on him. Got him all done. Questions or comments, please like and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. I will see you all in the next video.